don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great releases that we got so far this year and even still have to look forward to later on. We still got lots of P, AC Mirage, you know, Spider-Man, Call of Duty MW3, Two, even though we are literally speed running the year of 2023, like, you know, how the hell are we already close to September? If you've got your gripes with what's been released so far, you just still can't deny that we've had a few heavy handy titles this year in gaming. Titles that are going to be praised for years to come down the line. Except, even though the titles I just listed are cool in their own way and everything and might even go on to win awards and shit, I could argue that probably the most important game release of this year would be the game dropping just a few days being Starfield. Now, Starfield is Bethesda's latest game after the studio was bought up by Microsoft because since they couldn't make any good console exclusives recently, they decided to just waive that Bill Gates check and buy one instead. Now, I don't have anything against Microsoft or Xbox, you know, I don't want anyone thinking that. In fact, I think the complete opposite and want Xbox to achieve in the future because I remember how good the company used to be before the endless plague of, you know, Halo, Gears, and Forza in the mid 2010s. I didn't think we'd make it out of that. But as far as the game exclusives go, they've been a little behind PlayStation and Nintendo and after the situation of that one game earlier this year that I'm not even going to say the name of because it's going to give me PTSD, now Xbox is back again with another shot at winning over the majority of public opinion with the space adventurous title of Starfield. And because of Bethesda's past of creating innovative games, a lot of people including myself are eager to try this game out and have really, and I can't stress this enough, really high expectation from this upcoming game like people believe that this game will be the equivalent of the second coming of Jesus Christ and because of that a lot of people are debating whether it'd be worth pre-ordering the premium version of this game not only to play it way earlier but to also gain access to a number of other exclusive perks it's a pretty splitting decision to make when you consider it can make the difference of 100 plus dollars being or not being your account anymore so today I want to maybe help somebody make that decision while you know we still can I want to give you what I believe are the pros and cons of buying the premium version of Starfield and hopefully by the end of the video you can take the information and do what you want with it, I don't, I don't really care. So hopefully after this video you'll be able to make your decision. So you're looking to play Starfield? Well let's get Captain Obvious out the way. This premium version is going to set you back 99 bones plus tax if you buy it outright or buy the premium upgrade after buying the full game so just accommodate that price tag with what's in your bank account because there's never any need to be put in a bad financial situation over a video game it's it's just not that serious but if you insist on getting a form of a discount for the premium edition you can sign up for the xbox game pass which automatically has starfield on its catalog and then you can buy the $34.99 premium upgrade to gain access to all of the features. Definitely a better price than the first option, but if you're anything like me and enjoy actually owning your game, or at least owning whatever of it that you can digitally, they could just take it off the stores and we'd be fucked. Then this option might not suit you compared to just buying it outright, but again, all for you to decide. But what about the actual content in the premium edition? What's being included that's making people even consider buying this version of the game? Well, like I said, you can get a head start on the game and play it a whole five days earlier than the September 6th release. So whether you want that for bragging rights or just being a Bethesda enthusiast is only your own judgment. You also gain access to the game's first story DLC whenever that drops in the future, along with the cosmetic skin pack to use in the game. And some other digital stuff like art books and soundtracks that honestly aren't making a difference you could literally get those from a google search other than the early access and possibly the constellation skin pack you can still buy the included features after the game drops later on so luckily they aren't exclusive to the premium edition now if you really want to be one of the first to try out the game then it's a no-brainer to get the premium edition but a lot of players main concern with this is the expected day one glitches we see on pretty much you know every game in existence and not to mention that this is also a bethesda game to anyone that's never played a Bethesda title before and don't know what they could be getting into, these games are amazing no doubt, they have amazing storylines and all that, but due to them having so much going on and so much coding going on behind the scenes, they're known for having some of the worst glitches in gaming. Like, 
if you played Skyrim on PC vanilla with no mods, the glitching in that game is so bad that you might want to start glitching in real life. So a lot of Bethesda veteran fans are cautious of spending all that money on the premium edition just to receive a game that's possibly going to be damn near unplayable. Well, obviously, you know, I can't confirm that the game's gonna run perfectly fine on launch, you know, you know, who am I to say that? However, recent reports of early playtesters have said that the game is Bethesda's least glitchiest game up to date. Keep in mind, this is only like a handful of people, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but it's been years since the last Bethesda title, so you think they'd be better at game development. Also, you know, a patch was just released for the game ahead of its launch, claiming to fix various issues, so whether you think it's worth, you know, trying this game this early is all up to you. Ultimately though, you know, I just think it comes down to how much faith you're putting into Bethesda with this game. The gameplay does look promising, but at the end of the day, it's still a gamble on whether the majority of people will like the game or not. I personally believe that the game's gonna be dope and well worth the money, but then again, I'm zero to one with Xbox predictions, so it could go either way. So with that, we'll just have to wait and see what the future of Starfield has in store for the players. So what do you guys think about Starfield in the Premium Edition, man? Feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.